This is what we're making. A simple three knuckle hinge. I'm going to do a simple hinge. This is just a sample. It's not a piece of jewelry. If you were making a bracelet, you would make the piece complete solid, then you would saw it on the solder join, file the ends back, then you would insert your hinge knuckles or pieces or joints. They call it a knuckle, they call them knuckles because they look a bit like knuckles and your pin would go through this way. Anyway, if you cut this any way other than sawing it, you're going to have to file it back. If you cut it with shears, it'll bend the edge down. And you want a nice flat piece of metal up against your chenier. And chenier is just a French word for tubing. Uh, in this case, I've bought seamless tubing and it makes your life simpler because you don't have to worry about the seam. If you make your own tubing, you'll have a seam and you'll want to put that seam against the piece of the metal. Otherwise, if it's, a, if it's out away from the metal, it's not soldered to it, you'll have an op open join. So don't do that. Now this is 12 mil wide and what I'm going to do is cut three knuckles. Uh, that two of them a millimeter longer, so three fours, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to cut two of them five millimeter long and one of them four. That's so I can let the edges stick out past the metal a millimeter, and then once it's soldered, I can file it back. So I'm going to use my chenier cutter, appropriately named. This one is a Bergeon. I assume that's the way you pronounce it. And it's got a little vernier scale on the outside. It, it's quite good. It's got a thin area where your saw blade goes through. And I've got it set up for four mil. So I'll, I'll do the first one. So that'll be my middle one, and then I'll do two of them a millimeter longer. So I've got my three knuckles on here, and what we're going to do is we're going to solder these two to this side, and that one to the other side. Then once, once they're soldered and we put a pin through it, then it will articulate, it'll move. And what you don't want to do is solder all three of them on one side because then you just have a solid piece of metal with a nice decoration in it. Now you can see how this tubing is sitting proud because I've got it on a flat surface. Now what I will do is I'll take a piece of charcoal, I'll cut a groove half the, di half the diameter of my chenier so that the tubing will sit equally spaced on the metal. So I don't, I don't want it proud one way or the other. I want it right in the middle. Now, this is only 0.5 thick metal because I'm doing a demo. I normally would use one millimeter thick metal and I would use what they call a joint file, which is slightly rounded on the edge to match the curve of the tubing and you would file right into the edge of the material so that it has a slight curve so it fits the curve of the tubing. That way you have your typical good solder join. So in any time that you're soldering, if you make sure that your surfaces, the two surfaces, touch 100%, you have to use very little solder and there's very little cleanup. 
So we're going to set this up to solder. I wasn't happy with my uh, groove because it wasn't level. So what I've decided to do is just get a new block with a nice flat surface. I've got copper that is the same thickness as my metal. So I'm just spacing this up. And I've got the cap copper back from the edge of the metal because I don't want to solder it to it. So I'll put my joints up here. Make sure this is back far enough. Put my other piece on. And the reason that I changed tactics was these have to be perfectly straight and level, otherwise your hinge wire won't go through. So, however you need to do it, set it up so that it's as perfect as you can get it. So now I'm ready to flux and solder. And what you have to remember is, if there's no flux on something, it won't solder. So you just make sure that your center knuckle only has flux on the side where you want it to solder, not on both sides. Now we're going to put a small amount of flux. I'll shift in so you can see. On these two spots. And you can see that I just put it on the outside edge and a small amount on this side. So just, just be very clean and precise with this. Now we're going to put our little pieces of hard solder on here and we're going to do an initial soldering job. Then we'll separate the two and we'll solder it again to make sure we have a really good join. You can see I have the solder in place and gently heat this until your flux dries out. Now this will be the back of the piece because we want all of our soldering done on the back. Now I'm just going to push this piece in the final position. So I'm just circling the right side. So I want to get the piece of metal up to the right temperature. We don't have to worry about the tubing because it'll be plenty hot. So I'm concentrating on the piece closest to me. When that flows, I'll shift to the other end. There. It just started to flow and I stopped when this started to flow because there's no way I want that in the middle. So I'm on the other side now. Just concentrating on the metal itself, not on the tubing alloy. Yep. So when that flowed, it flowed against the tubing and not into these two joints. So at this point, I want to separate the two and finish soldering. So we'll let this cool down so I can handle it. So I've got the two bits separated now and I'm just going back. I put a little more flux on the join. So I'm just going to back, go back, flow that. There, nice join, and the other side, and then we'll quench it and put it together. So have a look at the back side, make sure that you have a really nice solder join, and you can see that there, there will be no cleanup on that once we assemble it. So check your fit. And that wants to be a nice, tight fit. 
Now, if you had had a piece of titanium wire, the same inside diameter as your knuckle, you could, you could put the titanium wire through to hold everything in place because solder won't stick to titanium. If you don't have that, you pretty much need to line up your joins. So now I'm going to pickle it to get all the flux off and we'll check to see if our wire fits. So this is one millimeter wire that we're using. And if you, if you cut your wire with side cutters, what it does is it squeezes it into a bit of an oval. So if you check your wire, you know it's one mil, you know that's one mil and it doesn't fit. File that back into a small point just to get rid of that oval bit. So you can see then my wire is a nice snug fit, and that's what we want for our knuckle. We want it nice and tight so it doesn't wobble around. So once I get this uh, piece out of the pickle, we'll put our wire through and cut it to length. I just put my hinge wire through, checked it for fit. It's a nice, nice fit. So now I'll take it out, file these ends flush with the metal, then, <clears throat> sorry, what we do is we take the total length of our metal, we add the thickness of our wire, and that will be the length of our rivet. So this is just a long rivet. Or half the thickness of the metal sticking out either side, the metal of the hinge wire. I've got these filed back. Now I file the end of my hinge wire flat and what I'm going to do is do this the easy way. I'm just going to cut this with my side cutters and then file this end back flat and to the right length. Okay you can see I've got half the thickness sticking out either end and we're going to just lightly hammer the ends of this. So on your bench block with the little riveting hammer and I'm just going around this way on the end of the rivet. Turn it over to make sure that you have it sticking through the other side. Because if you don't It'll be flat on this side and it'll just come out. So now we've got it riveted on both sides. And that's it. Simple little rivet uh, holding your hinge, plain hinge. And you can see that this would be the front side, so there's no cleanup. Now saying that, when you go to polish this, do not polish on the chenier. Or if you do, polish very lightly because Tripoli will just wear through this. So be sure that you protect your hinge. So that's it. Simple hinge.